Hey guys, welcome to the rhomboid activation drill where this is a three part movement where we're going to work on the rhomboids. The rhomboids are the muscles that help to retract the shoulders and cause what's known as the pinching back feeling where you pinch the shoulders back. The reason why I do pinching back with quotation marks on my fingers is because this is what most people do. When they go to fix their posture, they pinch their shoulders back. The thing is your lats and your external rotators rhomboids all pull the shoulders back and down. So just pinching your shoulders back is just gonna work the rhomboids and most people overload them. So when working the rhomboids, it is good to work them to improve posture, but you also need to do some cat cows and some lower back work so you can really work on your posture completely. So the thing is, this is a great drill to work with, but it's not the only drill you should be doing. Reverse shoulder dislocates, dislocates, um, banded pull aparts, those are all gonna be great additions to this exercise. So let's get into it. So step number one, press the feet into the ground. Don't need to stress too much about the glutes, but this should be on a little bit. So ladies, interlace your fingers behind your head and then flare your elbows up as high as you can. Then you're going to pull your head back, push your head back in your hands and roll your upper back. Notice, not the lower back, upper back. Hold for five seconds, then head down, elbows down. Yes, that was more than five, but we've got to talk first, and then we count. So elbows up, and lift, and five, four, pull up higher, three, two, one, and down. Once you've done five reps, move on to the next one, which is just the elbows. Now lift elbows up as high as you can, and hold four, five, four, three, elbows higher, two, one, good, and down. Push the feet into the ground more, so you get more tension through the glutes and the thighs, and elbows up, hold, five, four, three, two, one. So notice that it's mostly the arms that move. Then once you've done five there, stretch the arms out to the side. So it's known as a T-raise, and you're going to lift the arms up as high as you can. You'll probably find, ooh, notice that Kate moves down a bit. Keep the arms in line with the shoulders, and now start for five, four, three, two, one, and down. And again, you'll notice with this one, you should be able to do this with weights, maybe one or two kilos, where the other one is a little bit more engaging to pull you back and up. So you should be able to do this with about and down. If you're wondering what you're looking for, you're probably looking at about seven to 10% load. So if you're benching 100, you should be able to do this with probably 10 kilos. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, give that one a go. Let me know how you feel. So that's rhomboid activation drill. Remember to com combine it with a few other exercises to really work through the shoulders and the back. And as you know, enjoy.